What's poppin'? It's DJ Miss Jetson, and you're here with the Red Kulak Podcast YouTube. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Look, before we get started, you know the routine. Look down below, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and mess with your girl because I mess with y'all. But at any rate, let's get straight to it. Um, Hip hop moments in 2018. I'm gonna keep going with some of those. These are cups, kind of some of the more sadder moments that happened this year. Um, more moments where we we learned a few lessons. Um, I'm gonna start off with saying rest in peace. XX Tension and also Little Peep. Um, we all know those moments that happened with XXX. He got um, murdered actually going to buy a, a motorcycle. Some kids ran up on him. We know the situation with that. Um, with Little Peep, he overdosed with lean, and I think there were some other drugs in his system. Um, both very sad moments in hip hop, but both moments where we can learn from. Don't let their deaths be in vain. Um, they both had millions of fans put together um we're, we're leading the youth i i really loved xxx Stigion. um his first album i really listened to um i understood where he was going with it i think he was one of the first people really to dive into that mental health thing to that people wanting to commit suicide as far as in this generation and it being acceptable and people actually saying they understood him he really dug into that you know with because within 2018 you know mental health has been a big topic with um taraji doing things with it charlamagne and his book um all these shows and things now with mental health and mental health is just really becoming a big thing i've even spoken about mental health in the past um and that was something that x was really on and really talked about and that's why he connected to so many of these kids which is why it was so sad to see him go the way he did and with like i said with little peep i had never really listened to his music until after um the kids really loved him again he had an audience and these kids loved him and it was sad to see him go these were both teachable moments this year that hopefully you guys keep with you you know um leave the lean alone you know leave all the the perks and popping it and all of that, you know, let's, let's keep a healthy balance to what we do, you know. Let's not overdo these things and let's be safe in these streets and, and pay attention to your surroundings and do what you're supposed to do. X was in the middle of changing his life and unfortunately ran into that. Both these young men, it was unfortunate for us to lose them this year and especially the way we did. Again, you guys don't let their deaths be in vain. You guys can carry on their legacies. You guys can do that. Um, another moment in 2018 that I also feel like is a teachable moment is Takashi 69. Takashi 69 has been the biggest story of 2018. Even with him recently being locked up for now, I think it's been about a month now. Still the biggest story on YouTube. Still the get you the most views in content. Takashi 69, even with being locked up. Now, I don't have to go into all the the antics that he's pulled throughout this year. We've heard it. We've seen it. Everyone's talked about it. We know what it is. Only thing I will say about Takashi 6 9 that we have to pay attention to is a lot of times the youngins say the old heads don't never show love or never give advice or never say this. I will say that that's kind of not true because Takashi was a perfect example of every time he went somewhere, someone was telling him you need to stop moving this way you need to stop doing that you need to cut out the beefs every time whether it was fat joe whether it was charlemagne or the guys at the breakfast club whether it was um even even ebro's hating ass over it at hot nine seven somewhere even and even smaller youtubers and, and podcasters like myself and and other podcasters and and people always spoke on Takashi because we liked the kid. He was a funny kid. He is a funny kid. He's really good at being entertaining. But he got caught up with running with the wrong people who didn't obviously have the, his best interests at heart, which I've always said in old podcasts. And I'm sticking to that until something else is, comes out. I still feel like, and that's why he's in the situation he's in now. Not taking any of the blame away from him, but he should have knew better. People was telling him. I personally would always say, man, who are your OGs? Even if you're running with this gang or doing, who are your OGs that they're allowing you to do this like that? They're obviously don't have your best interests 
at heart. You need to get away, separate yourself. Everybody would just always say something. And not to stop the fun and not to stop him from doing everything he does, but just to keep him safe and thank God he's still alive. Because one thing everyone would say after end of telling them something, look, you're only going to wind up two places with doing this and that's dead or in jail. And it happened. One of the last things he said in one of his last interviews is, hey, I only fear two things, God and the feds. And now he's facing one of them fears head on. And we all pray for Takashi 69 to hurry up and get out, you know, really. And hopefully changes his life, changes everything that goes on. And just stays focused on content, internet content, which is what he's good at. And doing his music. And hopefully he can regroup from this. But we're going to see. But these were all moments in hip-hop that happened this year that we can all take as a lesson learned. Lesson learned. Let's learn from these lessons. There's been plenty of things that's happened over the years in hip hop, and we kind of just threw them away, and or we learned from them too late. Guess what? It's never too. It's not just learn from these situations, because this continues to happen. Even referring back to Peep, you have Pimp C, rest in peace. DJ Screw, rest in peace. You have Wayne, um, who's still alive and doing his thing, but who's had seizures from this. Um, you have Rick Ross, who's had seizures and stopped drinking lean. Lessons, you guys. Let's start learning from these lessons. We didn't learn in. But let's not take these guys' deaths in vain. If the, you're real true fans and everything, let's start a movement where let's, let's, let's try to stay alive. Let's stay out of jail. Let's do that. 2019, stay out of jail. Let's stay alive. Let's, let's have fun. We all love to have fun. I love to have fun just like the rest of us. But look, let's do it the right way. You ain't got to be doing all that other, you know what I mean? <laughs> we don't got to be doing all that. So 2019 is just positive vibes, positive vibes. You know, prayers to, to X's family, prayers to Peep's family, prayers to Takashi's family and him. You know, and we'll see what happens. And again, 2018, those were some moments that were really important for us to really, those were really important moments for us to all learn from all learn from but i thank you guys for listening though just look down below again hit the subscription button hit the notification bell and i love you guys for even listening this long man it's the red kool-aid podcast youtube happy holidays